Welcome back to Overtime here on WOTM. Mark, we talked about the, the big weekend in football with Jacksonville State. There's another big weekend at the Talladega Super Speedway, another big one here in the East Alabama area, East Alabama community, as Jack, uh, the, 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 the Sprint Cup races or the Cup Series, as well as the Xfinity Series and uh, the Menard Series, the ARCA Series, all heads to Talladega Super Speedway. Obviously, I mean, this is one of the events here uh, as an Alabamian. I know that this would be your first taste uh, as a New Yorker down here as uh, the NASCAR circuit makes its way into town. But from I know that there's there is racing in the north as Watkins Glen mm -hmm. and, and, and Dover and some of the other places that are that are up New, there. In New that Hampshire, area. yeah, right. exactly. New Hampshire is another one that's close by. Uh, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to uh, watching from afar NASCAR and then now getting to see it kind of a little bit more close? Well, when I was at ESPN, I mean, we, you have to know a little bit about everything. So mm -hmm. there were times where we, we had to cover the NASCAR races and we had to know who top five finishers were. You had to know the drivers. You had to know how they performed on each track. Right. Uh, and then, of course, you have the legendary races and Talladega's about as big as you can get. Mm -hmm. um, everybody knows where it is. I remember when I first came down here and I was driving on the highway and then I, I saw it and it's just kind of like, you know, I, I don't want to say it's like Yankee Stadium, but it kind of has that, right. that aura of, wow, this is really a historic place. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's nice to, to be around stuff like that. If you're, when you're a real sports fan, you get to appreciate the different sports and the different things that they represent. Uh, and I think for people in Alabama, this is one thing where every year you get to come out and see a great race. Exactly. The, the big one is the one they always call it. It's the, it's the big red that kind of throws everything off. And there always seems to be two to three of these, and especially in the fall race. Because a lot of the fall racing is for, you're racing for championship. You have mm -hmm. maybe about between eight and 12 racers that are drivers that are all vying for a championship. So if you've already won one, a lot of times the uh, already run a race, run uh, won a race, then your strategy is just to hang back and, and don't get involved in the big one. If you haven't won one, it's a wild card track. We see a lot of first time winners here. Mm -hmm. And not only first time winners, but then we also see uh, winners, number, number one, win by short margin, but then also Guys that we do expect, the guys that do win at other tracks, short tracks, road tracks, mm -hmm. also do well here. And also some of the other, uh, some of the other series. I know the Affinity race last, uh, yep. uh, Justin Haney won, uh, won both of them. Mm -hmm. So uh, he'll be looking to get a, th a three-peat. Uh, Denny Hamlin, who is number one in points this year, even right. though he hasn't won uh, an event yet, he ended the three-peat of Ryan Blaney, mm -hmm. uh, who had a chance for that in October. Uh, Brad Kozowski, he's won the most. He's got five. Last time he won was in 2017. Uh, then you have Joey Logano, who's third right. currently in points. Uh, and McMurray, they're both tied on for the second most top five finishes with eight. Uh, and those guys are going to be threats too. So there are a lot of guys that are on this track that have a long history of it. You have uh, Logano, who's been in uh, 33 races. Uh, and then you have Kozlowski, who's been in 30 races on his track. So there's a lot of history, a lot of guys that are used to it. Uh, you should see a lot of them really performing at their best. Exactly. We'll take a look at the, that, what you, what you mentioned earlier, and some of the things that, well, obviously, we're going into it. The defending champion is Denny Hamlin. Uh, he won back in October of 2020 on his way to a, a very, very strong season. Of the ones here, do you expect any of these guys to, to probably make that jump? Denny Hamlin is the odds-on favorite to come ahead and win, but like we said, it, it, it is always a crapshoot to find out who's actually going to win. I think Hamlin probably Hamlin or Kozlowski probably has some of the, the, the better shot going into this year, yep. given how much success they've had at super speedways, both at Daytona and Talladega. Yeah, and Kozlowski is currently ninth mm -hmm. uh, in points. He's kind of, I, I got a story about him. Mm -hmm. uh, when, one of my last days at ESPN, I had my dog with me. I had a therapy dog uh, for, for my health issues back in like 2008. And Kozlowski was just a rookie then. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was making a tour of ESPN. And I happened to be uh, there at the moment and we, with my dog, and he, he loved my dog. Right. And so he's playing with my dog, and people are like, come on, Brad, we have to go. Uh, and I, I thought he was a great guy, a nice guy. Um, and it, I mean, who, who doesn't love a guy who's good to your dog? Exactly. And Kozlowski's done a lot of uh, good charity work, especially uh, here in and around the southeastern part uh, of the United States. And a lot of these drivers this year, obviously, being different because of, because of COVID 19, but a lot of the drivers try to get out, meet a lot of their fans. It's good, great to hear that Kozlowski uh, was a good dude to you up there mm -hmm. in Bristol. Sammy, we'll definitely appreciate it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So that race will be going on this weekend. You have the 
ARCA Series race Saturday at noon. Then you'll have the Xfinity Series race. That green flag will drop at 3 o'clock on Saturday. Then on Sunday is the Cup Series race. That will start at 1 o'clock at the Talladega Super Speedway. Coming up next here on Overtime, we'll close up shop and we'll take a look ahead to what's coming up next week. We'll have that and more next.